Okay, so this is the last part of the tincture process. I did the decoction last night. I blended the two together and I let them sit. And then I racked off pouring from one vessel to the next and then I left the bottom uh, with all the sediment in the bottom of the vessel. And that I actually put to the side and I mixed them all together and that's just for me. So I have a, a picture of that that's actually right here. So this is all just random sediment and uh, mixtures of different mushroom, you know, so I, I don't care if it's all mixed up, but uh, for product reasons, we'll keep these uh, together. Or if you want to blend them later on, that's a different story, but for this sake, we're keeping them pure. So uh, there's two ways you can bottle. You can do it with a syringe. So this is a 10 millimeter syringe, 10 milliliter syringe. I actually have some 30s, I don't know where they are, but a 30 fills up a one mil uh, or a one ounce Boston round a lot better than this, because this is a 10 mil and it takes three loads. Fill, suck, fill, suck. Um, so what I ended up getting was this fancy schmancy um, water, or it's like a water meter majigger, but it's much more fine detail than say the one that I use for, for hydrating a substrate. So this one goes basically off your time. I spent about a hundred, no, it was like $90, $80 for this. Um, it's in Chinese for the most part but they do have instructions for it. They're not the greatest instructions. Basically all you're worrying about is the time on the top there. Um, first thing you're gonna, you're gonna turn it to where it's uh, in the pause mode and then you go to um, inching. So continuous, you wanna un inching. And then I set it to, uh, one, this is 1.1 seconds. That's about an ounce. So you're looking at about an ounce per um, second. And then the beautiful thing about this is once you're all set up, it takes a little bit to set up to where it fills the bottle right. And I find it to work best, um, they have an extra nozzle that goes on there. I find it to work best without that extra nozzle. It's, it's too much of a jet. Uh, so what you do is you just take a whole rack of Boston rounds and I take these, I get these from like Amazon when they're on sale. I pay about 60 to 80 cents each. I usually snipe them. I'll find them when they're running specials and, and buy a couple hundred of them at a time. And the beauty of this, oh, we gotta put it back onto on mode. The beauty of this is you can fill up a whole rack really quick. And you just wanna make sure you're not getting it everywhere like I am. So let me change the angle on that actually. Oh, that's what's going on, it's walking on me. This isn't tight enough. So yeah, this is a, a quicker way to do it and I bought this because I was doing like 300 bottles and uh, if you're only doing you know 10 or 20 bottles definitely just get a syringe but if you're if you're doing a couple hundred of them this is going to save you some time with the bottling line so from here I'll go ahead and fill the whole rack up put the, the uh, put the droplet droppers in there and then once that's done, I will take it and label them up. And one trick is if, uh, if you want to fill these up a little bit more high, what you do is you squeeze the, the dropper and put it in and then let go of it and it soaks up as it's going in. That way it doesn't overflow. Um, so for, for labeling, I use, this is an Avery label. So uh, I'll go on, I go on Amazon and buy these. But um, yeah, you just run it through your printer and you can do it online really easy to put graphics in there. Actually, the, the more recent ones that I have have my Myers Mushrooms logo on it as well. And uh, they go on really well, look clean. Um, these are, I think, one and a half by one and a half. They work on the one ounces and the two ounces. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the end of it. And then I sell these for about anywhere from six to $12. So if you're buying one of them, it's gonna be about 10 to $12. But a lot of times I'll have people that will buy who are really health nuts and they want to buy you know six or ten bottles and at that point I'll do six dollars a bottle. Um, the cost is about two dollars a bottle uh, between the alcohol and the materials um, and then plus labor uh, but if you have things like this it'll cut back on your labor cost if you're doing a lot of bottles. So hopefully you like this video about um, tinctures and how to bottle them up and if you like this video check out my other videos on mushroom cultivation and uh, take it easy. Have a good one. Keep on mushrooming.